Yellow yeah, number I've six. my one big thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Photos show progress made on Saudi Arabia's Red Sea project, and guests are expected in 2023, Richard. Images shared by the CEO of the Red Sea Development, development Company, TRSDC, John Pagano, show significant progress made on the Umhat Islands. <laughs> Um, excuse me, the Umahat, Umahat Islands <laughs> reserve site. Um, it's funny because Richard, we were talking about this before the show and I called it a photo leak and you laughed and I was like, yeah, it's not a leak when the CEO shares the photos. <laughs> um, we're putting that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, Hey, check this out. We're making progress. Um, playing host in Ujama, part of a luxury hotel chains, Ritz Carlton reserve collection. The 82 key resort will welcome guests in 2023, according to Pagano. So uh, cool. <clears throat> This was a good choice. You added this. And I thought it was a good choice because we've talked about how some of these uh, Giga projects are nearing uh, a, a place in their development where they can host people. And uh, same thing with uh, 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 Durian Gate. Uh, you know, it's coming along and it's getting close. And these pictures are really excellent. And uh, so I, I thought it was, that was a good choice. I, I would add, and we keep talking about this, how Saudi Arabia is now being... <clears throat> you know, mentioned in, in, in uh, the same breath as some unlikely other places. And so this property, the Ritz Carlton reserves worldwide, they have five properties. This will be the fifth. The other ones are in Thailand, Japan, Indonesia, Puerto Rico, Mexico. So, you know, they put this only in what they consider super elite, super interesting and intriguing sites. These photos are amazing. The YouTube viewers will see them. I mean, they've begun dredging. I mean, it's weird because it's like you see them and you're like, that's the that's looks like the rendering we saw two or three years yeah. ago when this was announced, but you're yeah. you're seeing it come together. They're dredging for sand to build some of these really cool um hotel rooms and keys that are on the water, sort of like Maldives style. Um yeah. but yeah, I mean, they're making some serious progress here. This isn't pie in the sky stuff. And Richard, look at the watercolor. My gosh, it's like turquoise and, light blue it looks awesome you know, you know it's probably going to be even nicer because obviously there's been construction going on and there's been you know uh sand and dirt stirred up and stuff but yeah it's an interesting setting and it's it's going to be i guess so um as of march uh this is a, in part of that the article as of march more than 85 off-site manufactured beach and overwater villas have been fabricated and assemb assembled on site Combine these resort resorts will offer 172 hotel keys, according to the Red Sea Development Authority. Mm -hmm. um, this Red Sea destination, Red Sea Island destination, it's envisioned uh, upon completion in 2030 will deliver up to 8,000 hotel rooms across 22 islands and six inland sites. Just awesome. We cordially invite John Pagano to come join the 966 at a time of his convenience because uh, we'd love to talk with him about this stuff. There's so much going on. Um, this is really cool. I mean, this is definitely, you know, this is <laughs> this is progress. And just to add to your invitation to Mr. Pagano, we'd be glad to do it in one of the bungalows, overwater bungalows. Oh, sure. Yeah, we would be more than happy that's to more do convenient. that. It would be great if Richard and I could have separate bungalows, but if what is if we'll seal the deal, we just share a bungalow, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, the other thing, Richard, too, is I mentioned Ritz Carlton. These are major, you know, as we've discussed, major international hotel brands, you know, yes. so there's some there's some trust that you'll have when you visit a Marriott or a Ritz Carlton you know, in a new destination in a country you may never have been to before. So that's cool. That's a good point. You also get into their networks, you know, so, oh, yeah. if you're, you know, if you're yeah. a Marriott rewards member or whatever, you, you know, at some point you're going to get a, you're going to get a promo and a, an invite and advertisement for, uh, uh, you know, Omaha Islands Reserve. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Richard, like we just talked about with Dr. Saad, I mean, Saudi Arabia is looking for 70 million tourist visits this year after 62 million last year. And there was a huge boom for Saudi tourism that was domestic last year because of the pandemic and the inability to go anywhere else. So people started discovering their own country, which was really cool to hear him talk about, um, you know, because he's obviously been all over. So, um, yeah, this is really neat. Check out all these. If you're listening to this, check out our YouTube channel, because all of these images we're going to put on the YouTube video. It's cool to see this thing progress. Yeah, this is a good one because those, those pictures are interesting. 
Speaking of good one, Richard, this was a great episode. Um, uh, you know, it would have been perfect if you'd have just shared that 88 billion because I have to, in retrospect now, I have to reconsider the whole relationship. You're going to have to restructure all of your finances, by the way, because that 30 billion is going to go so quickly after you buy the Washington football team. I do have kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> Think of the things we could do. Yeah. Yep. Think of the things we could do. We could, um, well, that's a lot of money. Ooh. We could, yeah, we, we could do a yeah, lot. We could do a lot. We could, we yeah. would, we would not be issuing any um, payouts to anybody that wasn't um, directly receiving a lucid. So but again, um, you, you know, you're sort of taking us away from the point. You could do more with the 45, 44 billion I was willing to give to you than the 30 billion you were give to me. That's all I've got to say. I know, but your mistake was that you offered your number before I gave you my number. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I just had to disappoint you. Um, a negotiating flaw. A programming note, Richard, we will be, it's the um, August 18th, 19th when this publishes. We're going to be taking a little bit of time off at the end of the month. Um, we will still almost certainly have a weekly episode. Um, it may just be a modified format. We're still working on that. But if we go a little dark um, unexpectedly for our fans, we will be back. Um, we didn't disappear. We just haven't taken a break yet. And both of us are starting to visibly age. You can see the plant behind me. I'm killing slowly without water. So um, we, so just, it, just stay tuned. If we go dark for a week, it's just because we're taking a break. Um, but we'll let everybody know next week what our plan is. Absolutely. Another good one, Lucian. It's always a pleasure. It is always a pleasure. This is fun, Richard. See you next yes. week. See you next week. Cheers.